You think it's sliding off? It is holding. It is holding 80 pounds. Five, four, three, two, one. 80 pounds. Dude, that is insane. This is a 3D printed monitor stand. It can tilt, swivel, angle, height adjust, support monitors of all sizes, and it has RGB lighting. All of this while being made out of plastic and metal bolts. Let me show you how it works. But first, let's go back in time. This project started over a year ago with the idea of making a 3D printed monitor arm for the bed to watch movies. It worked well, so I decided to take it further and made a prototype that mounts to a table, which proved to be a great challenge. I needed a way to test and improve the tilt design, and that's when I came up with the idea of making a monitor stand. The tilt mechanism is a 4 bar linkage, and as it moves, the monitor tilts. If we draw the normal lines going through the links, they intersect at the ideal center of mass of the monitor. In this animation, you can see the link in action. Point P traces out the path of the center of the monitor. The gravity is pulling the monitor down. To balance that force, the top link is in tension, and the bottom is in compression. For the monitor to tilt down, the bottom link will need to compress in length or the floating link will have to move up. Both aren't energetically favorable. Therefore, you must apply an external force or moment to cause the tilt. The 1 half inch threaded rod that goes for the center of the base is another component with significant purpose. It supports most of the monitor weight and allows for height adjustment. I used the simulation side of SOLIDWORKS a lot in this project to spot the stress concentrations and eliminate them. Distributing stress is very important to avoid failure. It took a lot of iterations to get the final design. I learned that for plastic builds like this, it's all about using metal off-the-shelf parts most efficiently to achieve the desired outcome. With this design, the calculated factor of safety is ridiculously high. A 26 for a 20-pound load. That means in perfect conditions, this tank can support anywhere up to 400 pounds of load, which of course we had to test. I bet my friend $50 that this monitor stand will hold more than 80 pounds. What do you got to say to that? There's no way. There's no way. You don't believe it? No. Okay, well, we got. That plastic thing is not going to hold 80 pounds. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. We're going to be uh, progressively loading the monitor stand. You, as you can see, there is there's an adapter here in the front that will allow us to put uh, weighted plates on the front that will kind of mimic the, uh, the real life loading conditions when there is a monitor. Look at that. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're gonna wait a few seconds to see if it's gonna break at 35. Oh, I think I think I'm seeing where it's breaking. Oh, look at that. I brought you $50. Oh, man. Okay. Well, hey, that's more than a if you enjoyed this video, time. like and subscribe, and we'll see you again. But we didn't stop there. All right, we're back at it again, and this time we have modified the stand to include a rod going all the way through. That will significantly improve the strength at the base where it broke last time. And additionally, we included uh, bushings on the top, as well as a bushing right here where uh, there is a high stress concentration. This will improve the strength of the plastic because the metal will already be stronger than the plastic. And we're just gonna jump right into it, starting with the weight that we left off, which was 35 pounds. All right, and the thing that we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna only wait five seconds and then we're gonna take it off. So I think it's already been five seconds. Wonderful. And then the next weight we're gonna do is um, a 45 plate. It's holding at 45 pounds. It's already 10 pounds more than we did last time. And now, now we're gonna have to think of a better solution how to uh, attach weights onto it because there, is no, there isn't a bigger plate than a 45. Um, I just want to remind you that this is PLA plastic, which is one of the more brittle materials. So this is just to show you how uh, this geometry works 
well despite having a weaker material than you might want to use. Let's see what, what's gonna happen. I think it's gonna slide off. Oh my god, it is holding 55 pounds. 55 pounds. That is 70 pounds. That is 70 pounds. That is insane. Let's see if our mechanism is intact. It's still functioning. It is still functioning. One thing we can do is we can turn this a little bit like that, which will prevent anything from sliding off for as long as the heavier weight is going to be uh, here first, because the center of mass of the monitor is going to be in this area. So that is the place we designed it to. Okay, let's, let's try it one more time. You think it's sliding off? It is holding, it is holding 80 pounds. Five, four, three, two, one. 80 pounds. Dude, that is insane. The previous version could only hold 35 pounds. That's more than double. Average weight of a monitor is about 10 pounds. So that is equal to eight monitors. You're holding eight monitors on a single monitor stand. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. It is holding 90 pounds already. That is absolutely wild. I mean, is it even gonna break at this point? Is, is, is this possible to break? Five, four, three, two, one. That is 110 pounds, 11 monitors. It is holding 11 monitors. All right, we could not actually break the monitor stand despite putting 110 pounds on it. So I think that just proves how strong this uh, design is. That's it. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you next one. Hell of an engineer. Hell of an engineer. It's gonna be like a two minute video of just you taping a phone to a thing. I'm not gonna cut. Perfect! <laughs>